hit that subscribe button, guys, for daily boxing videos. Skill set. Technique. Ability. Combinations. Fundamentals. That seems to be the only thing I ever hear. When Anthony Joshua fanboys are comparing AJ to Wilder. And when Anthony Joshua fanboys are letting you know why Wilder has no chance against them. All they talk about is how AJ has so much more talent than Deontay Wilder has. He just, he, he's, he's, he's a better talent. From B to D, from A to C. Nothing that Wilder has in his skill set could compete with Anthony Joshua. Therefore, he has no chance in the skill department, in the skill department. And they keep, they keep saying that the, the skill department. And I think what, what, um, Anthony Joshua fanboys, I think they, they, I think Anthony Joshua fanboys think that people like boxing fans believe that Deontay Wilder has better skills than Anthony Joshua. Let me tell you something right now, uh, guys. The majority of boxing fans who aren't blinded realize that Anthony Joshua has better skills than Deontay Wilder. Including me. I believe Anthony Joshua has better fundamentals. But what people have to understand is when they fight, Anthony Joshua's skill set, his uh, ability, his better combinations, his timing, that really won't mean anything because, as I said several times, Wilder doesn't necessarily have to be a better talent than his opponent to beat his opponent. I know there's a saying in boxing. There's a saying in boxing, man. And that saying is skills pay the bills. And it's true. Skills do pay the bills. But getting caught flush in the chin causes amnesia, people. It causes a fighter to be on Queer Street. I think what we have to keep in mind is we have, we have to realize is this guys this fight is going to be very competitive between Wilder and Joshua I understand that in a lot of uh, hardcore uh, fanboys minds they want to just ignore and just hope that, 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 that Wilder's power or Wilder can't land his right hand on Anthony Joshua. But like I said, Wilder's going to be able to land on Anthony Joshua. He's going to be able to land on him. And he's going to be able to hurt him. And it's going to be up to Anthony Joshua to survive when he gets hurt, when he gets caught. He's going to be he's going to be having to... Uh... So I actually think that's what Anthony Joshua should be training for when he's preparing for, Anthony, for Deontay Wilder. Is how to survive when he gets caught. Because he will get caught. How to survive. Because if he's not able to survive. Then he's going to lose this fight. Skills pay the bills. But punching power. Is a game changer guys. So. Again. I'm currently picking Anthony Joshua to win. Because I still think Wilder makes. Very. Uh. Uh, a lot of amateurish mistakes. I still think he's very wild. I still think he depends too much on his right hand. If I'm Deontay Wilder's team, I'm going to be trying to teach him to put different aspects on his game because he seems to be a guy that just depends on his punching power and his right hand to land. And so far, it's been, it's been bailing him out. It's been bailing him out so far. But I believe that one day it won't bail him out. It won't bail him out. And I believe the day he's not going to bail him out is going to be against a guy that is mobile. Fortunately for Wilder, Anthony Joshua is not a mobile fighter. And Anthony Joshua is going to be standing right in front of Wilder. So, 
that's why I think it's a very competitive fight for the simple fact that Joshua is not going to be mobile. He's going to be standing right in the center with Wilder. And he's going to, and he has, uh, you know, endurance problems. So he will get caught eventually. He will get caught. Uh, anyway, guys, that's all I have to say. Subscribe for daily boxing videos and see you guys next time.